skydive. In this video, my main focus is not going to be to teach you math. That will just be a byproduct of the video. The main idea is to get you familiar with the new online GMAT whiteboard. So as you know, the GMAC recently launched the online version of the GMAT exam. You can now take it in the comforts of your home. But with the discomfort of doing all your calculations without pen and paper. Most people can't imagine doing math without pen and paper. Well, that's why this video, this one and more coming up will help you in this journey. We'll tell you the best practices, the best ways of using this online tool. And together with these best practices and your hours of practice that you put in, you will be ready before the big day. Don't worry. Let me just start with this particular question. We have this in our Quant Scholarium on the EGMAT platform. You see this show whiteboard icon alongside every question. There are thousands to practice from. What you have to do is you just have to click on this and it will launch the whiteboard on your screen. You can move it around. You can resize it. So suppose you sit here and move it here. But for this particular question, it's the best size, the biggest I could get, and it's in the right position. So I would not touch that much, but you know you can. Now before specifically moving to the question, I'll just show you the tools that we have. This one here is the pencil tool. So you click on this and you can just annotate on your screen. These here are to select the thickness of your stroke. Now once you draw something, you probably draw it wrong, then you want to erase it. Here's the eraser for that. You can again select the size of the eraser. The biggest one is the best. You can clear up big spaces at once. But still, this is not the best way to clear your screen. It will take time to move over the whole stroke. Better would be to click on this, undo. So you can just undo what you did. But even then, suppose you did a lot of things. You've written quite a lot, a lot of strokes you've made. What now? Well, then you have this here, the clear thing. You can just click on this and you'll have a clean slate whenever you want. Next up here is the line tool. So this one you can use to draw your lines, horizontal, vertical, whatever types of lines you want. Next is this for squares and rectangles. It will be much neater than what you would manage otherwise. This is for circles, you can draw oval shapes, whatever you want. This one is for polygons. So I want a triangle. Say this is a triangle. You could do the same. You could draw a pentagon, a five-sided figure here it's pretty neat next up is the aa thing you see it's the text tool so you click on this you click on your blank space and you will have your writing space you can type here let me tell you this is the main tool you will need all the math that you used to write with your hand on a paper you will now be typing mainly using the pencil to write all the math takes a lot of time just try that this here is the pan tool. You can just move the whole thing up and down. Now, uh, this is a choice if you want, if you're done with a question, you don't want to erase everything, you want to keep it safe, just pan and move to a clear space again. You'll have more space to work with. Next, these are not very important. I would not use them personally. I would just clear all of this and now finally start talking about this question to demonstrate the use of all these skills. As I said, I'll be using the text tool. So clicking here, I have my writing space ready. Let's read the question. So a boat completes a hundred mile journey in two parts. I have to write this given information here. I'll just say 100 M. I know M is right now for miles. It could be meters, but who are you confusing? It's for yourself. You're not giving the notes to anybody else to read and understand the concept. It's for you and it's only for the duration well, well, uh, in which you're doing the question. And there is no meters anywhere in the question. You're not mixing anything. So keep it as short as possible. So 100 mile journey, two parts. It completes the first part of 40 miles at an average speed of x miles per hour. Okay. And the remaining, so remaining distance would be 60 miles at 30 miles per hour. That's the given information till now. Then, they're saying what's x? x question mark. If the average speed of the entire journey is 25 miles. So average speed is 25. You could just write as. You know what that is. Now, this is all that the question had. This is all that it gave me. 
and now move on to solving it. I would prefer creating a new text box for that so that there's no mixing. I can see everything given, everything required on the left side, all my working on the right side. Now, what is average speed? Average speed is total distance upon total time. So therefore, this 25 has to be equal to total distance of 100 divided by the total time. I'm keeping it as t for now. I don't know the total time. Time will have to be calculated for both parts of the journey using distance upon speed. But that would, if you actually imagine writing that fraction down, it's a three-step thing. So it's like 100 divided by, and then in brackets, 40 upon x plus 60 upon 30. That's not easy to type. So keep it as good as you can. Don't type extra stuff. I'm ready to find the total time from here only. See, 25 is 100 divided by something. What's that? 4. So I know the total time is going to be 4 hours. Now, for both parts of these, I can see the easier one here. I know the distance, I know the speed. So 60 upon 30, that tells me 2 hours were spent on the second part of the journey. So if the total was 4 hours, then it was 2 hours for the first part as well. So when your distance was 40 miles, your speed was x, which is what you want. Your time was 2 hours. Now how do you get speed? You just divide your distance by time. So 40 divided by 2, your speed was 20. That is x. You don't have to create notes again, I'm repeating. It does not have to be very neat. Some people tend to over type stuff. Just because you get to type now, it does not mean you have to create beautiful notes and you're going to circulate them later. It's only going to last till you're on the question. So right now, only the important stuff, things that you feel you might forget if you don't write, just type those. So 20 miles it is. Click on this. Submit it. There. You see? It's not difficult. It will take time in the beginning. Yes, it took me a while. The first day I did it, I was super slow. But then it's getting better every day, every hour. Put in your uh, hard work, put in some hours and you'll be ready. Any doubts you have or any specific questions you have about the online whiteboard, feel free to comment here and we'll definitely come back and help. Happy learning.